in true man fashion, I'm going to try to do this without reading the whole instructions. Like I said before, we do have picture instructions, four easy steps. First, we're going to take the actual unit itself. Let's move this out the way. I'll look back for the references. And we're going to plug it into the computer. It's my little setup, guys. Got a little trading going on while I'm doing this video. All right, so I'm going to take the USB cord. And the big side's gonna go on my computer. Small side's going to go into the El Gato. Pretty self-explanatory. So I'm gonna look on the back here. So you have, have the inline, we have a HDMI, and we have the USB. On the other side, we do have the HDMI out. So it's pretty standard. Uh, I think we can figure this out together, guys. Let me see if I can focus on it. There we go. So that's what you're looking at when you get that. Finally got some focus. And we're gonna do that now. So step one is done. As you can see, I have the El Gato USB coming in. Hit a little loop-de-loop. -loop. I hate long cords. I gotta clean up all this setup. But it is going to the HDMI, no, excuse me, the USB on the side of this adapter linked to my MacBook Air. All right, step two. Back to our instruction box. We are gonna take the HDMI cord and plug it into the El Gato and into our console. So under here, excuse the mess guys. Like I said, I gotta get my set up cleaned up so i currently have an hdmi running to my monitor i don't know if you guys can see that uh gonna be my hard drive keep my music on i mean my games my clips uh also have my headset for my turtle beach generation 600 and i have a link to those in the description also and HDMI cord that came with my PS5 power cord. So I'm guessing I will take this cord out and I'm gonna use the cord that they gave us, standard HDMI cord, both sides, all right? So let me get that set up and I'm gonna get that plugged into the El Gato. I love saying that. All right, guys, we are back again. And I currently have the HDMI cord, which was provided, running up behind the computer, all the way up to where I'm gonna place my Elgato capture card system. Did it just light up or is it just me? I don't know. I've never seen it light up before. Um, yeah, so it is plugged in now and we should be good to go. We should be good to go. All right. <clears throat> Step number three. I need to take my HDMI out from my monitor, which would be the white cord down there, and plug it into here on the outside. So, pull this, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, and I'm gonna tuck it back later. But just bring it up here to the front. I'm not really a techie guy, so for everybody that is new to streaming and you're trying to get into it, um, have no fear. I'm not the expert, but if I can do it, you can do it. So let's do it. So this is my second attempt at this install. A lot has happened between yesterday and today. So basically when I was setting up my Elgato, this piece I was telling you about went out, not allowing me to take my USB-C, which connects my screen curved screen monitor to here and not take any output. So I had to order another one from Amazing. Yes, Amazing. So I'm gonna do an unboxing on that, but first we're gonna to try to get this hooked up to the PS5, get game capture going and show on OBS. All right guys, so back where we left off, I'd have my Elgato. HD 60s plus a uh, couple days after, but it's what we're here. And now 
since I was having issues between connections on the screen, this and this, I have my new item. Uh, just shot a quick unboxing for this. And it has three USB 3.0s. One is linked up to my streaming webcam, which I'll use for my stream. Um, and next I will reconnect the Elgato. One thing about these two, you wanna make sure you do not try to power it in a USB 2.0, it will not work. So you want to make sure that you have a USB 3.0 for it, okay? All right, so now that is successfully plugged in. We got lights on on the, we had lights on. I still don't know if the lights are supposed to be on or off. I'm not sure. But we'll figure it out eventually. All right, so we just got those two set up right there. And my last move is to take this HDMI cord, which comes from the back of this monitor. And I'm going to put it in the front. Move this camera out of the way. I'm going to put it in the front of the Elgato HD S60. HD 60S Plus. All right, give me a second. All right, so I now have everything connected as should be. I have the U the HDMI running from the Elgato to the back of my PlayStation 5 down there. Hey, hey. Um, I'm gonna have this USB-C, which is wrapped around and plugged back into the back of this adapter. Um, also, I have the HDMI out going to the back of the screen where the HDMI connection is here. So ideally everything should be hooked up, I believe. And that's my unboxing. I'm gonna try to get everything together on OBS. See, I have my webcam now. Hey guys. And uh, we're gonna see if we can get everything working seamlessly. Cool.